Hi learners, welcome back. Uh, here we're at the end of the lecture and I thought we'd come back to Prof Chen Su Han and ask him a couple more pointed questions. I know many of you are interested in getting uh, your first job or internship in AI. And for that reason, who better to ask than the experts themselves who might be hiring you, right? So uh, we are going to grill uh, Prof Chen uh, with, with his ideas about what he's looking for. So, um, you know, we want to know, basically, how would we go about, you know, learners coming out of our class, uh, going about the process of getting uh, an ML interview and what, what types of things would, would uh, happen with that. So, what are the things that we should look out for uh, when we're preparing to get our first internship or our first uh, job in machine learning? Thank you, Prof. Tan. So, uh, maybe I'll start by uh, just throwing in a piece of advice uh, to, to everyone, uh, not just people learning about machine learning, but also people who will be using machine learning for various problems. Know your data. That's probably the most important thing that everyone, anyone who works on machine learning, really, really need to know. Uh, before you just apply your algorithms, to whatever you receive, you really need to know your data first. Um, it's usually a good uh, 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 approach if before you apply the algorithm, actually look at your data. Uh, I actually mean visualizing your data so much so that you understand if this was a, a, a classification problem, how the data distribute uh, within the, each class, but also among the classes. Well, sometimes we call this uh, intra-class variation versus inter-class variations. That will at least give you a sense of, is this going to be a change problem or is this just a piece of cake? So knowing your data would be the most important thing that I would really, really want people to know uh, before you just uh, apply your algorithms to whatever you're given. Uh, and be careful, right? Uh, always with this notion of uh, garbage in, garbage out. So when you train your algorithms with bad data, uh, believe it uh, or not, the algorithm, So Suhan, I'm so glad you mentioned this because uh, yeah, learners, you also know from the project rubrics about grading your projects, this is one of the very important highlights that we stress to you, you know, that we want you to understand why machine learners that you apply with different parameters have the performance they do. Um, they make sure um, this uh, analysis uh, underpins why you are learning the things that you're learning and applying it to a backward engineer in some ways, why the results are the way they are. Unlike uh, certain people who apply machine learning algorithms without understanding, uh, you are responsible for understanding the machine learning algorithms and then applying them and then validating why the performance is the way it is. So uh, again, thanks so much, uh, Prof Chen, for uh, 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 reinforcing that uh, goal of our uh, learning objectives. Yes. So the next question we have uh, is, uh, I think, a more pressing one for students uh, perhaps looking to interview, right? So what is your favorite uh, ML or uh, AI question that you would like to ask, you know, potential AI apprentices or engineering staff or uh, scientists that are, are working with you? Good question. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, Prof. Khan, for giving me this opportunity. Um, yes, uh, as uh, Prof. Khan mentioned, uh, my job, I do get to see, uh, interview candidates who are uh, applying for various kinds of uh, positions in AI machine learning, uh, mostly for research, of course. Uh, but, but even with that, there's uh, usually a few of my favorite questions, so much that I can understand very, very quickly what the candidate knows about or, or, or doesn't. Uh, one of the favorite questions I always like to ask is, what is uh, overfitting? Or yes, if you're uh, 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 approaching the problem and then you're now into this overfitting situation, what does that even say to you? Does that mean that your algorithm will just fail miserably? Uh, 
or, or does it mean that I would actually work most of the time, but whenever there's any mismatch between your training data and test data, then it's going to fail. So uh, often I use the word overfitting as a, uh, a question to understand what the candidate uh, knows uh, uh, or doesn't know. So uh, yes, so try to understand what uh, outfitting uh, even means. Uh, even when you see it a lot in various reports, even in newspapers that reports about companies, startup companies in AI machine learning, they use this word overfitting uh, very often when they apply their algorithms to different uh, problems. So no uh, overfitting, that would be very, very uh, useful. Uh, somewhat related to this would be uh, phrases like uh, 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 validation. Um, when it comes to uh, deploying an algorithm developed in the lab to the real world, there's actually this very important step which we call validation. Uh, yes, you all know by now what training data means, what test data means, but how about validation data? What does that even mean? Uh, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to go into detail today, but uh, uh, yeah, do check it out, uh, what validation, validation data set means. Uh, I will believe that's a useful uh, notion to, to be, ready with, uh, be ready with before you go to the job interview. And as an interviewer, I would definitely ask that question. How do you ensure that your algorithm actually works in the real world? And the answer would be validation. So I, I throw in a few so, so, so that uh, people can uh, kind of uh, think about this and prepare uh, yourself. And hopefully these are useful tips that you can uh, benefit from uh, later in your career. Thanks so much, yeah, uh, Suhan, for all of those tips. So learners, pay attention to your lectures. Uh, you'll see bias and variance in week five and uh, validation as well as regularization topics in week six. So they come right after our linear models uh, lecture, which provides, um, you know, the background basis for discussing these very, very important fundamental topics to machine learning, regardless of whether you're doing traditional machine learning or you're going off the deep end to deep learning. Okay, with that, I think we finished today's lecture. So until next time, see you. <laughs>